this brand was actually 30% off. And I was like, you know what, more dog toys. Planning calls for 2022. I love this time of year. It ended up being like an hour and a half long, just like therapy call and like clarification for my business. And I cannot find my tripod attachment. To not be a workaholic, let me not bring my laptop into the bedroom. Let me not do it. It hasn't been in there in a while. And I really, I don't need it in there. nowhere and honestly on rainy days like I hate leaving the house I don't want to do it I don't want to leave I just want to stay in like the perks of working from home and there's a tornado are you kidding hold on hold on I need to sit down to assess the severity oh my gosh Louisiana tornadoes leave two dead whoa I have not checked the news or anything today what is going on thunderstorms likely by evening rain heavy in times Oh, six o'clock, it's supposed to get really bad for us. Well, that's good because I'll be tucked in here by six o'clock, but <sighs> yeah, you guys know how I said yesterday, I wasn't gonna bring my computer into the bedroom because it hasn't been in the bedroom so long. I didn't bring it in last night, okay? I ended up, I could not fall asleep. So I didn't fall asleep until midnight, which is terrible for me. And then this morning it was lightly raining and just like very dreary out. And I was like, you know what? Let me just bring my computer in here, create a thumbnail and just get a tiny bit of work done. So did a teeny tiny bit of work this morning. Talked to my Instagram stories, finally got ready. I was supposed to have a meeting at 12, but it just got pushed to 12.30. So I've got a little bit of time. And honestly, I just have far too much laundry to fold. Like I feel like you guys have seen me fold laundry so many times. It's just... There's a lot of laundry to do in this house and I currently have like towels right beside me that I haven't folded. So I think I'm gonna take my time or waste my time doing that and then head to my appointment and I just have like a busy work day today. Just like that, the laundry is done and I am officially running late. So I gotta take off these slippers, put on shoes, put Poppy in her crate. Poppy girly! Oh, let's grab your bone. Do you want to take that toy? Come on, bring that toy. Come on. Good girl, come on. No, fancy, that, since when? Poppy, come on. Good girl. She's usually so much better than that. It's just, as you guys saw, I moved her crate from the bedroom into there and she's not used to it being in there yet. Do I have water over there? Oh my gosh, you guys. I shouldn't have finished folding that laundry because now I'm like really worried I'm gonna be late. And I don't really have time for this to be late because I've got two meetings back to back. So that's why creators gotta diversify, man. They gotta be on like every platform. I was thinking about it like the other month and then I didn't do anything on it because I was like, let me like evaluate if this is worth my effort in 2023. I mean, let's um, set up a call like next month so we can just like dive more into like our goals and stuff for the new year and all so that. we're going to be doing that. We've yeah. just literally at this point been trying to get through Q4, but yes. Yep. I had one meeting at Starbucks and then I asked my manager, cause I had a meeting. So my Starbucks meeting was supposed to start at 12 and then my manager meeting was supposed to start at one, but then the 12th meeting got pushed to 1230. And I was like, okay, that's fine. But like, I gotta be home by one. And then I arrived two minutes late and it took 20 minutes instead of the 15 minutes that they said it was going to take. And all of this stuff, it's like totally fine. But I texted my manager as I was leaving Starbucks, I was like, hey, can we start 10 minutes late? Because I like, am running late from this other thing. And she was like, that's fine, but I've got a hard cut at 
30, which meant then that would only been a 20 minute long meeting for us. And we like to chat. Like if we schedule an hour long meeting, it's usually like an hour and a half. Like we talk about so many things, business and personal. So anyway, I was like, okay, I can start on normal time if we can do it over the phone. So I ended up just having a phone meeting with her, which was perfect. And I drove myself to the nail salon because these nails are just overgrown. And this one like chipped a little bit at the top here. So I want to get them done before that starts getting worse. Um, if you guys remember, let me turn this off so you guys aren't hearing the wipers. If you guys remember last year, my uh, breakdown that I had when I had my call with my manager, this was not that meeting, which honestly, I was shocked when she only put a half hour long meeting on my calendar. I was like, don't we have more things to talk about here? We're actually going to have a meeting at the start of the year talking about goals, direction, and more things for 2022 and just like brand partnerships and how things are lining up for the new year. So that like kind of works out because I haven't even buffed out my goals yet for the new year strategy, all of that stuff. I just talked to her a little bit about Instagram subscriptions, like seeing if anyone else in the group has done it, if it's worth it. I'm just, I don't know, I'm debating on like the direction that I want to take my brand, like where I want to focus my energy next year. I will share all of that with you guys when I have it figured out. I just kind of need to like buff it out on my own and then come forward and share it with you. But I'm going to run inside and get these nails done. I ended up going a little bit darker this time. Last time I honestly went too light. I don't know why I did that. Like I went darker for fall and then I was like, ah, back light again. And I don't really know why I did that. So we are darker for fall. I really wanted them to match because for some reason this ring finger grows the slowest. My thumbs grow the flat fastest and my thumbnails were like, they were too long last time. So I wanted them to match this nail length and Sadly, they did not. They ended up cutting them shorter and then they file them down. Most of the time I actually just have them file it instead of cut it because with how much like filing they do to shape it, it gets it to the length that I want instead of cutting it down and then filing more. That's kind of what happened. When they cut it, I was like, yeah, that's fine. And then they file, and I was like, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. I should know at this point with how many times I go to the nail salon, but the nails are done. And honestly, I almost fell asleep in my chair. They had piano Christmas music playing and it was just like, we wish you a Merry Christmas, but like slow piano. And I was like, I could fall asleep right now because it's so dark outside. It's rainy. I'm getting my nails done. I was like, this is sleepy mode. And I told myself I was going to have a really productive day today. And I'm just like, I'm not feeling productive, you guys. I am really, really not. So I need to actually go get myself some lunch. What time is it? 2.31. Yeah, I kind of want to pop by Taco Mama because it's right here and I haven't had Taco Mama in a minute. just now reminding me that I <gasps> wait a second oh my gosh this is gorgeous you guys the girl I hired to design my website sent this to me as like a thank you that is so sweet I was actually looking to buy a new planner for the new year but this one, like it has goals set down in the beginning and then it gives you like a weekly overview and a habit tracker even. Oh my gosh, this is bringing me back to my bullet journal days. Schedule, this is cute. 
I like this. Thank you so much, Jordan. That, wow, that was so incredibly nice of her, but that honestly just reminded me that my website, okay? <laughs> you guys know that like I haven't used it in two years? Yeah, that website. I have been wanting to get it revamped for the longest time. It was in the process of being revamped. There were a couple of problems with it that ended up falling through. And then I decided to hire a completely different team to do it and, I am actually supporting two small owned, female owned businesses, which I love. No wonder, Fancy's like body's pressed up against my leg and I'm like, there's no thunder. It just thundered, so she's not too happy. We're about to curl up on the couch. Let's actually do that while I continue talking to you guys. Let me go the whole way back to finding my team, like how I found the team that I'm working with now. So I was actually taking a look at bloggers' websites and at the bottom there's usually credit or there should be credit for the designer of it. And I was just like doing a bunch of research, looking at different websites, jumping from this website to this website. And I was like all over just like taking a look at bloggers I had never even seen before. And I ended up finding this one that was mentioned, I believe on two different websites. So I took a look at their Instagram. I loved their samples of work and I was like, let me reach out to them. So I reached out to them and I didn't realize that they were actually only a developing company. So they do not design websites, they just develop them, but they had a list of designers that they had worked with. So through that list, I ended up looking at the examples, like took a look at a bunch of different people and I found my way to Jordan. And Jordan ended up designing my website. She got started in April of this year okay it's been a long time with this website but we did like a full rebrand types of, like she like redid my whole branding and then the design of the website and like the back and forth and making sure that it was perfect and then it got sent over to the developer so it's been in the hands of the developer for a little while now honestly not too long and then a few weeks ago, it was probably like two weeks ago, I got a notification that it was like now on my end and I'm ready to review it and it's been Vlogmas and I just like, I have not done it. I have not done it. They sent me an email two days ago being like, we need you to review this and then like, we're ready to go live. So I need to review it. It's just like, there's so much detail because there's so many pages and it's like, okay, well, what happens if I move my mouse over this? What happens when I click on this? What happens when I scroll? Like, how are things popping up? And it's far more intricate than the website I originally had because I designed that all on my own. This one, I wanted to outsource and hire professionals so that it could be really freaking cool for you guys. And I'm so excited for it to launch. I just like, since this has been in the works since April, I feel like I need new photos for the website now. So it's like, I'm gonna get the website delivered to me and then I think I'm ultimately gonna go in and change the photos and like make it look the way that I really, really want it to look and then I'll do a full launch next year because I also want fresh new content on there because I haven't uploaded any blog posts in over two years. Like it's been a very, very long time of that website just sitting there. So that's really what I have to do right now is pull out my computer and review this site, huh? Actually, can I do some sprints with Poppy Girl? Poppy should really do some fetch because it's raining and we can't go for a walk and you need some energy released and we know Fancy's not up for the task, is she? I did give them the Frisbee. Do you want me to throw it? Oh yeah, she's ready for fetch. Are you ready? See if I can get it. Ha! Ah! I'm not nearly as good with the frisbee as I am with the tennis ball. You let her scream back. Do you wanna play the tennis ball instead? Okay, girl. Music good girl, too fancy girl. Oh, that was a bad throw. Sorry, puppy. <laughs> gonna drop it? Wow, good girl. walked through, well, I'm just gonna use this as ter that's terrible lighting on my face. I just did three walkthroughs of this house trying to find my tripod attachment. Do you guys remember how I mentioned the other day that I couldn't find it? Well, it ended up being my car, <sighs> don't ask me why. And I found it and now I have lost it again. And I checked all the spots it could be and I just don't know, I really don't know where I put it. So you are currently on my laptop stand and my laptop is going to sit on my lap as I give you a little sneaky look at the website. 
there's a few things that I need to do and a few things that we kind of need to work out together, the developer and I, because I'm coming out with like new categories and things and like new organization within the website. And I want to like share more. When I was using my website over two years ago, it was primarily blogging, Pinterest, like that stuff it wasn't even talking about youtube like that was before i well it was like in the middle of when i was like getting into the youtube topic but really it was pinterest blogging business but it's not nearly as organized as it should be for the site to be easy to use yeah that's exactly what i'm thinking there so we got a little bit of that to do as well as the main featured images for each of the blog posts i need to change out all of them which there's like over 240 some posts on my website, I believe. So um, I might just do like the most recent ones or just slowly, slowly pick at it. But enough talking. Let's look at the website. It's got a very different look compared to my last website. So <laughs> this is the homepage. <laughs> I, oh man, I'm so, so excited. So a few of the things that I really, really wanted in the design, I wanted it to be creative and to represent me in the sense of like creativity. <laughs> Does that even make sense? Like obviously it should represent me. It's my freaking brand. It's my website. So I wanted there to be hand written spots as well as like scribbles, tape, and like Polaroid pictures and stuff because I love photography. It's like I wanted to incorporate those things and I just wanted it to be fun and a little bit like free flowing. These are the words I used to describe. Like when my <laughs> designer was like, okay, some words that you would like, the words I chose, she was probably like, this girl is crazy, but I love it. It's so cute. Look at this. Hey, bestie. <laughs> It's so cute. I think I want to change this image. I actually took this image when I was in LA. So I just feel like it's old. And these we got to change because like when I was first talking to my designer and stuff, like I was single at the time. So I plan on having a whole entire section about being single. And I still want to have a section like that, but I don't think I'm going to have that on the front here. Let me show you like what the hamburger does. Did you see that? It was a nice hamburger. So do you see the stacking of the Polaroid pictures here? So cute. The little scribble, the tape, the outline. <laughs> it's all just like, ah, so cute to me. I don't want to like spoil the whole entire website. I'm going to make you guys wait until it officially drops. So that will be coming next year, which is so, so freaking exciting. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, can I, how do I do this now? They're using a platform that I have never used before and I just don't know how to use it, quite honestly. I just left a comment there, they'll see it. This is now done. Can't even tell you like how much I've just been worried about that because it's a lot to go through, like clicking on all of the links and making sure that it does what it needs to do. Like at the top, there's a podcast link. So you click on that, it takes you to Spotify so you can listen to the podcast. And there's also a YouTube link. So the Spotify one opened up a new tab, but the YouTube one for some reason didn't up open a new tab and I want it to open a new tab. So then my website is still open. So you can go back to that if you want to go back to that. So it's like little details like that that you gotta pay attention to and figure out just like the flow and how is it working and is it doing exactly what you needed to do? So yeah, oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. I'm getting a new website. I feel like 2023 is just gonna be a big, big freaking year for my brand. I have had some comments from people. There is one thing I need to address that the previous owners clearly covered up. They built the deck into the house. This is my sneaky door. I know I'm not going to regret it. My goal would be to start that project next year. It's cute right now. Oh, can we see where the house is at right now and like the timeline of the project? Oh, down the line. This is the wallpaper. I don't like the look of that. Yeah, great question. 